Ronald is lonely no more. No, let's have a look. And there he is. Now he has got there two terrapins, two serrated hinged terrapins, and two ducks. In fact, quite possibly the entire family of ducks. Now I'm quite keen to just see if I can't swing Ronald very slightly to the right hand side. Now before I do that I must warn you that what could happen is that the terrapins might rush into the water. That doesn't worry me too much. Oh hang on a second. Before we do that I must tell you that with these terrapins the male is smaller than the female and I wonder if we're not seeing some courtship here. What do you think Fergus? Do you think we're seeing some Pretty some courtship? Amorous to me. They look quite amorous, don't they? Hang on a second. Let's see if we can help them along a little bit. Shall we? Let's see if we can create a bit of atmosphere for them. I think we probably can. Stand by one second. Set the fire. Set the fire. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Ah. That's it. Smooth sounds of saxophone in the evening. Time is now, Jeffrey. The time is now to make a move. The sun is set. Can you imagine a more romantic scene than this? And don't be afraid. You gotta take a chance, man. I know it's difficult with a duck looking on, but the duck don't care. You're a terrapin. Terrapins ain't scared of ducks. In fact, they eat small ducks. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's totally endless. And now they're not, they don't seem to be interested anymore. Oh well. Um, I, I think I'm, I was going to move the rover to see if we could get a better picture of the ducks, but I think that will it could disturb them. And I think in this, well, I mean, they're in a slightly sedative position, aren't they? So let's just leave them be. I think this is just wonderful. John, I don't know the answer to this, and I think it's a very good question because I've looked at it and wondered, and I've tried to find an answer in a book, actually, and I, I don't know. You say, why do they hold their heads towards the sky? I'm going to guess, John, and my guess is that by, ho they, by sticking their necks out like that, they expose more skin to the atmosphere, and that then would allow them perhaps to absorb more heat, because the skin is obviously going to be a lot less well insulated than the shell. So I think that's what it is. It's probably to expose as much skin as possible to the elements. Come on, duck, just take two steps forward. I would really seriously love to move Ronald, but I think you might fly off. I'm not sure how brave you are. Mm. That duck is a terrible voyeur. It is. Fergus has just said, I don't know if you heard him there, he said, the duck is a terrible voyeur. He is a dreadful voyeur. He's pretending he's not there. You see that? I mean, he's standing completely, completely still, fascinated by what's going on there with the terrapins. One of whom, the male, seems to be flapping his fins on the female in order to enthuse her. Light a candle, man. Don't flap at her with your fins. He's now sort of looking sheepish and blowing his throat out slightly. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Now, you know, this... Ronald is basically doing what I would, if I came on safari these days, I would be very tempted, especially in the winter, to, once I'd finished my morning game drive, to take a picnic breakfast, including lunch and possibly a fine G&T, 
and I would sit in the shade next to a waterhole for the whole day with a good book in one place. And if you do that, stuff will happen. Ronald has been sat here for, well, nigh on three hours now, and he's just had the most wonderful sightings. He's had the water buck. They came past him. He's probably had a few views of the water monitor lizard. He's had these terrapins up and down onto the bank, and now he's got the ducks. So if you sit next to water for long enough, apart from the wonderful sense of peace that water gives you in the wild, you're bound to see interesting things happening. I think that was fantastic, and I do apologise for my um, slightly odd sense of humour.